Welcome to this episode of The Wolf and the Shepherd. Today, we're going to do things just a little bit different. We're going to introduce a new segment called In Other News. But before we do that, we also have a guest with us. We have Pat Beeman from the podcast On an Island with Pat Beeman. Pat, glad you could join us. Thanks for having me, Max. Yeah, today we're actually going to be taking scraping the bottom of the barrel to a whole new level and bringing up news stories which other people won't touch because they have journalistic integrity but thankfully we don't have any integrity so we're going to discuss them yeah absolutely and uh before we kind of get into this we'd just like to bring up the fact that we now have a fancy little roadcaster pro so this is our first podcast that we're doing on our roadcaster pro so wondering if it's going to sound a little different uh, maybe it is maybe it isn't maybe we just wasted a whole bunch of money we could have spent on beer well and the other thing is if the podcast now sounds like crap it's not the equipment it's actually us yeah yeah we should have thought that through yeah we should have probably not mentioned the new yeah roadcaster pro oh well which so far meets all of your expectations because despite the fact you're colorblind it's got lots of different colored buttons on it but to you it's just like looking at a negative of something yeah and there's all these little fancy scale yeah there's all these little fancy buttons that have effects and everything on them but we're we're not going to do anything like that no, we're that, gonna that's not us. re-record stuff on it yeah yeah so i searched through the news this week and i found articles which i hadn't heard elsewhere and once you kind of get a few words into the headline you understand why they haven't been heard elsewhere so i want to start off with the first one because this is a two-part story I found this one on Monday and then found an update on Thursday. So, Chunky Monkey being killed with kindness. Tank top wearing Godzilla, that's his name. That's not that radioactive lizard from Japan who makes those movies, that movie style Godzilla. Uh, I wonder what size his trailer's like when he's on set. Probably, it, do they let him be in a trailer or do they keep him outside? Well, it might be a big top, like a tent. Oh. We has to kind of lay on his back and just scoot himself in. But mind the, you, he's such a big star now. He's probably got his own tent they made specially for him. You know right, what the Japanese but, are like? They accommodated his every wish. But you're also talking about the lizard, not the monkey. Uh, at that point, I was talking about the lizard, yeah. Oh. That's why I'm saying this is not to be confused with Godzilla, the actual lizard, because he's chunky anyway. But you literally confused me. Well, all right. This monkey is named Godzilla, and he uh, lives in a market in Thailand, and his weight has ballooned due to shoppers giving him junk food. And it's sparking comparisons to Uncle Fatty, who ate himself to death. Now, at that point, it didn't explain who Uncle Fatty was. So I was like, well, that's rude. Are they going to call out, like, the editor's cousin or something? I don't know. But Uncle Fatty was apparently another famous monkey who they sent to fat camp, but he escaped and was never seen again. So they just assume he's dead. How many famous monkeys are there in Thailand? Well, I don't know. There's two? At least two. Wow. But they're both fat, so I don't oh. know. I don't know. So, yeah, Uncle Fatty. Comparisons to Uncle Fatty. Uh, Pat, have you ever seen a fat monkey? Some portly monkeys, but that's probably the extent. Yeah. I mean, what is the definition of a fat monkey? Well, if it looks like a basketball with a head glued on top of it, I think that's the definition of a fat monkey. Because this one... No, only... portly. Oh, portly. Mm. He's got a better vocabulary than we do. Uh, just a regular monkey with a beer belly. I think that's portly. Yeah, that's portly. Basketball is but, just... But baboons look like that anyway, they don't they? Because they've got that kind of awkward kind sure. of slouch with that kind of belly. Yeah. yeah. That's so a I don't good know. Point. They're chunky. Yeah. But gorillas, it's all proportional. Yeah, it's proportionate. Yeah. Would you call Bigfoot fat? Uh, is he even a monkey, though? Well, he's got a shop in plus size stores. He's got a sh sh shop at Evans for the larger. Oh, mind you, that's just for women, isn't it? I don't know. I've never heard of Evans. No, it's for larger ladies, or at least... Is that an American for... store or a UK store? I don't... I, well, Are you making this store? No, up? I'm when not making it up. women's clothing is my question. Well, yeah. large at women's the big, clothing. At the big and tall place <laughs> for women. That's, right, yeah. Uh, no, it is a store, and it was for larger women. But I actually, yeah, I can't remember if that was in England. Or that right. must be an English must thing. I've, English, yeah. I've never heard of that yeah. place. Okay. Well, anyway, Godzilla's onus is he exercises every morning but has not been able to shift the bolt. Now, I don't know what he's doing, like jumping jacks, kind of running around the market a few times. Crossfit, no doubt. Crossfit, yeah. Well, you'd think you'd figure the monkey bars would be a, like, given. Uh, but if he was doing Crossfit, we'd have heard of this by now. 
Oh, yeah, because he would have been able to shut up about it. Well, yeah. he'd have put it on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It had been all over his Instagram. Did, does he have a Twitter account? Um, doesn't say, actually. Oh. Remember, this is Thailand. They're a few years behind everybody else. Oh, okay. If it had been in, like, Beverly Hills, you can guarantee he'd probably oh, have sure. his own TV show as well. Probably. So, yeah, he's ballooned to a dangerous size, and they're really worried about him. So that's that. That's that article. I'm surprised that didn't make our local news. No. Especially with it being all the way in... Bangkok and Thailand. Do they not have scales in Thailand? Do they not give us a little more specific on his weight? Well, he's twice the weight for a, what he normally should How be. How would they know? Well, I guess he just looks twice as fat as okay. one. But he, who's who's setting these weight requirements for monkeys? Well, there's got to be an organization, you'd figure. The Monkey Weight Monitoring Organization? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, oh, so, it okay. probably has a catchy ac acronym to it Yeah, as that well. would be what, MWMO? Yeah. The, the mobile -wo? Yeah. Yeah. Probably sounds better in whatever they in speak Thailand? in Thailand. They speak Thai. Thai oh, don't Thai. They? Yeah. They talk Thai. Talk Thai. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your parents. Yeah. 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 There you go. So, second story, which, you know, I think I actually believe this woman. Florida mum. Hey, we have to believe all women. Well. Anything that starts with Florida is yeah, Florida mum. She's 34, by the way, just so this adds any extra judgment. Cause if she was 33 or 37, you know, I was going to be disgusted with her, but I can understand that she's 34. 34 she, is a tough yeah. age. Uh, she's charged with child abuse, which I think is incorrect. Because I think if you beat up a child, it shouldn't be called child abuse. After showing up to her daughter's middle school wearing a boxing glove to fight a 12-year-old girl but tells cops it was glued to her hand and she couldn't take it off. Just one boxing glove? Just one, on one hand. Yeah, it doesn't even say which hand it's on. Does she only have one arm, maybe? No. No, she has two arms? I don't think that counts as child abuse. Is it going to a school and beating up a kid with a boxing glove? I don't think so. Um, well, she was going to do it with one hand behind her back, clearly. Well, no. Um, she'd actually gone to the school to have a meeting with the vice principal because her daughter was like had been in trouble at school and she actually turned up to the meeting with this boxing glove on her hand and they said what's that for because obviously the vice principal's thinking hmm you know i might get punched in the face here but the shepherd and i did discuss the fact that it would have actually been worse if it had been bare knuckle if she'd have been hitting the kid with the bare knuckles so i think she did the kid a favor wearing the boxing glove isn't there some old law or something that you can hit your wife if you tie one of your hands behind your back or something like that well, isn't used, that from england it, well actually in the united states it used to be law that it didn't count as spousal abuse if it was an open hand it's only if it's a closed hand it was actually abuse you were allowed to slap your wife so you can't do that anymore well apparently not it's oh. frowned upon oh. uh, uh, frowned uh, upon more than gluing a boxing glove to your hand well, I, I don't know if that actually broke any laws. I think, like I said, they've made that charge of child abuse because they just didn't know what to put it under. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, what was that? Uh, Brazilian man with upside down head vows to return to motivational speaking and brings positivity back to the world after spending a year in isolation due to COVID. Now, Pat, I do actually need to show you this photo just so you know what man with an upside down head. It actually just looks like a man with a broken neck and his head's backwards, which I think is actually what it is, isn't it? Yeah, clearly he's just, uh, he's looking up and just yeah. continued to rotate. Yeah. I wonder if he kind of drowns when it rains, you know, like the rain goes How does down he his eat? nose. I'm sure well, he goes back fine. to normal. It's because you're, um, he just now your food tract has that, um, those muscles which push it down anyway, which is why you can drink it, drink out of a keg when you're on, standing on your head. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, he's um, returning to most motivational speaking, which do, I think is going to please everybody. Do, does he have a podcast? Uh, he no, should. he does upside down head man podcast. Right. But I think he has a problem kind of like setting the equipment up. Because oh. er, obviously, like All his levels everything, are probably everything looks upside down. So that's true. You know, yeah. I don't know what he's what he speaks on other than like, hey, if I can get a job, anybody can. But the thing is, it's like, well, yeah, you've got a job because your head's upside down. If your head was the right way up, you probably couldn't get a job. Do you think he wears hats? With a strap on. He probably wears helmets with a strap around yeah. the neck or something like that. Or one of those Australian hats where you have the kind of cord on it, the Billy Bong hat or whatever it's called. Oh, know. like uh, the yeah. crocodile hunter used to wear? Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently his mum was told he wouldn't live past a day, but he's defied the odds because he's now 44. 44? Yeah. Cool. Well, so anyway, good so, for we, him. so we can look forward to his do, speeches. Do you think we could get him as a guest? Um, yeah, he's, he's 
we're probably going to have to. Uh, no, it's all right though, can't because we can use video effects to get him the right way round. Yeah. Well, we can just turn the laptop upside down. Although Claudio, if for some strange reason you're listening to this, I'm not saying your head is the wrong way round. It's just unusually pointing in the wrong direction. True. Yeah. So that one. Here we go. Uh, this is no laughing matter. Man's 21-year-old testicle-shaped growth on his earlobe that slaps him in the face when he moves his head releases a jet stream of blood when it is finally removed by Dr. Pimple Popper. Now, this man, for some strange reason, is 38, right? But he's been living with this pear-sized growth for 21 years. Pear-sized? Okay. Yeah. Like the fruit pear? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, not pear of scissors. Yeah. Oh. So, um, or pear of pants. He said it's a constant source of irritation and interferes with his job as a forklift operator. He has to regularly wash the wrinkled growth because it can give off a bad smell. But now it's gone. Well, yeah, but this is the thing. that It might grow back because if it's one of those genetic things, you know, with the cells that are supposed to keep growing it, you know, it might be like cutting off a starfish's arm. It's just oh. going to grow back. Who He's takes 21 years to get to the doctor? Well, that's what I thought. Maybe he was kind of like waiting for a new healthcare plan to come out and find Does, does Brazil not... It, he's from Brazil, right? Uh, no, the last guy was from Brazil. Yeah, no, no that's, oh, the, that's upside the upside down head, upside head, upside down head Yeah, this dude's American. Well, no, he's from Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's almost America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. basically the explanation there. I mean, right. it's our healthcare system. Right. He's been yeah. waiting 21 years, yeah. and then he goes on Dr. Pimple Popper to get it taken care <laughs> but of. But imagine right? that, though. Every time you turn your head, it slaps you in the face, and yeah. it smells. And I know. For 21 years. So let's remember there. So he's at it from 17. So the last couple of high years in high school must have been rough. Well, I wonder how long. <laughs> you know, I wonder how long it took to actually grow in. Because that's a good point. It, You'd like it, to think overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Has to be. Actually, could be fun at Halloween though. What are you gonna call it though? Old oh, ball sack head. I don't know what's yeah. the what's the costume. I don't know. Didn't they have that on some movie? The guy that had the like ball sack on his chin or something like I that. I don't know. Or was that Family Guy? I don't know. Yeah. Did you dream that? I think so. It must. I be might like be making Evans that up. Plus size women. Yep. Yeah, so um, good luck to him. I hope it doesn't grow back, mate. Again, this topic, a little bit controversial to some people, but, you know, hopefully it will um, be useful. Sesame Street introduces two black Muppets, Wesley Walker and his father, Elijah, and they're going to help talk to children Wait. about black identity and race. So Wesley is the kid Muppet yeah, and, and Elijah is the dad, the yeah. dad Muppet. Yeah. Okay. But there's a picture... And Elmo already looks confused, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Look at this pack. Well, but doesn't Elmo almost always look confused? Well, yeah, but I don't know if he was the best one to really introduce him to first. So, now correct me if I'm wrong, but the word Muppet in the UK is used a lot different than over here. Yeah, it kind of means you... It's a polite and affectionate term of, like, if somebody does something silly, it's like, oh, you Muppet... Yeah, well, I remember yeah. watching uh, Top Gear. You know, the the good right. Top Gear, not the Americanized version yeah. or whatever. And they would always say, "Oh, you Muppet," and I never really got that. I hope they treat it respectfully because apparently one of the segments on this show is now is going to be uh, the ABCs of racial literacy. So I don't know if you've got to come up with a politically correct term for every letter of the alphabet. X would be a tough one. Well. Because there's not that many words that start with X. Well, not related to racial literacy. Malcolm. <laughs> yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, that starts yeah. with an M, though. Wow. Yeah, but they can have the X and just put the Malcolm on the other side of it. Yeah, that's true. Do or you know, they, could, they could have pirates come on do and you know say... Why, do you know why he called himself Malcolm X? Because the X was supposed to represent a lack of identity within the American system. Yeah, I thought it was something to do with his original last name was Little. Or something like that. But right? it's also to he... represent that slaves originally, because they weren't given last names, that's how they used to do their signature. Mm. Well, that's kind of well, depressing. Well, fascinating. Yeah. So anyway, I know, Pat, you've been uh, waiting for the update on Godzilla. So that first article I read, that was I read that on Monday. And lo and behold, yesterday I got an update on Godzilla. Okay, there. so depending on when we release this. Is Godzilla this Godzilla the monkey. Yeah, Godzilla the sure. monkey. And not when the... we release this, it's three days later. Yeah. Or wait, Any, four days. Yeah, he yeah. might be dead by then. He might have killed himself in rehab or uh, something. But anyway, I hope not. Um, Godzilla gets sent to fat camp. Mega monkey, 
new one, whose weight doubled after being fed junk food at Thailand market is rescued after video of the podgy primate went viral. So Mega Monkey is the third famous monkey in Thailand, or is this the same monkey? No, I think that's uh, King Kong who fights Godzilla, Mega Monkey. I'm sure Mega Monkey's a thing. Was no, that's King... Mega Man, the computer yeah, game. Was King Kong from Thailand? No, I thought he was American. I thought that's the whole thing. Why we oh, beat he up was Godzilla. from Georgia, where the guy with the yeah. ball sack on his ear. Yeah. yeah. I actually saw a good meme the other day, and it has this big gorilla in the zoo in an enclosure, and all the you know, zoo visitors are all around the, you know, fence looking at him. And it's got, look, guys, I'm going to do the best I can, but it's a freaking radioactive dinosaur. So, because, right. you know, King Kong West Godzilla is coming out soon. Is it? Yeah. I thought they already made that movie. Well, they, well, coming out, mate, as in being released at the movie theaters. No, and, I mean, I thought there was already a movie where oh, they probably, fight each other. Yeah, they kind of redo them. Uh, I think yeah. that's a typical yeah. Hollywood thing. They always yeah. are redoing everything. Yeah. So anyway, Godzilla, the monkey, he rests on a pile of pillows and soft toys in the corner of a store as he fiddles and plays with things around him, including a Playboy branded coronavirus face mask. So, you know, he's got to be happy. He's got a face mask. Do little food. I'm sure he's like having a whale over time. Right. But do monkeys have to wear masks to prevent coronavirus? Um probably in new york or california yeah oh rest of the but country, he's in right? thailand i know isn't I that know. where the coronavirus came from no that was china oh what's the difference um about 480 miles i think oh, oh. okay so um yeah shopkeeper manop so manop a bit of a monstery name as well so we, this this article is so confusing so now we've got mega monkey godzilla uncle fatty and now manop said she adopted godzilla have he was abandoned by the store's previous owner and he was actually slim then so it's manop's fault yeah she said she feeds the monkey and treats him well but oh manop not... is a woman yeah that's a bummer of a name for a woman well it's thailand so are they all named manop remember they live there? they live in a place called bangkok so i don't think manop's mm. exactly the worst you know mm. name given scenario here oh, that's a yeah. good point yeah so anyway this one this is a uh guy Radio DJ, veteran radio DJ, I've never heard of him. Actually, I don't even have his name. That probably explains why I've never heard of him. But um, he's been fired for being inappropriate. He says... It's a good thing we can't get fired. Yeah. Well, we don't say inappropriate things. Well, so. That's true. He said, I will never go to a Serena Williams level, but I'm comfortable at Halle Berry. And he was describing how he likes his toast. And he said this on air. I mean, how stupid have you got to be? So but I'm, also, it's a pretty bad use for the doneness of toast, isn't it? Well, not only that, but how do you compare a tennis player to an actress when you're talking about toast? Right. I don't know. Just doesn't make any sense on any level. What me. happened to the monkey? Um, Do we move on from fat that? Camp. It's gone fat he's camp. He's at fat camp. Yeah. So I'm expecting an update round about Monday, Tuesday next week about how he's doing. So last time we knew he's just sitting on a pillow. Playing with a Pellows Playboy, with a Playboy uh, branded mask. Branded mask, yeah. Okay. Face Moving mask, on. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, here's his name. Rob Liederman uh, used black celebrity skin tones to describe how he likes his toast. He's been fired from his job, which he had for after 30 years. What well, he idiot. was probably ready for retirement anyway. Well, what an idiot. I mean, come but, on. But maybe... It, and I agree, maybe he was an idiot for what he said and all that. We're not condoning that, but maybe he just wanted to get fired so he could collect the you know extra unemployment money. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. I don't really have any sympathy for this woman. 27 years old. She inexplicably started growing a beard at 15, which again probably made high school a bit rough. Has never shaved it off despite being branded gross on Tinder. Now, my first thought there is, what are you doing on Tinder? Because we know what Tinder's for, and you're on there with a beard. Or well, maybe we do know what she's doing on Tinder if but she's got a beard. She's 15 though. I didn't. 27, think... mate. She's had it since she was 15. There's a picture there for you, Pat, just in case you were that, thinking of eating that later. That is quite the beard, actually. That is quite the beard. Yeah. Look at that. Let me see the. Yeah. I don't why know. won't she shave that off? I don't know. I don't know why she's wearing that Wes Waldo shirt in the second photo either, because she looks like she might be on par with Godzilla there a little bit. So, um, yeah. It's a fine-looking woman, other than some unfortunate I go, I chin hair. I, I wouldn't go that far. She's from Nebraska. I'm not going to give her name out. 
uh, because we you don't think she knows who she is well no we have so many people listening to this i don't want her to be sought out on social media and mocked and bullied so i, I think nebraska is probably one of the lesser listened to states as far as our podcast so i think we might be safe in going ahead and saying her name well we have thousands of fans in india so i wouldn't say that but maybe the people in india don't know where nebraska is well it's, not it's in the middle sure. yeah somewhere in the middle yeah oh. it's in the middle she somewhere. says her facial hair is a favorite feature she is taunted on dating apps but is determined to find a partner who loves it too which i'm sure there's enough perverts out there who oh are, absolutely you know i mean she did miss her calling though if she'd have been born 100 years ago yeah she old could have gone on that freak Barnum show would have yeah oh yeah. yeah yeah but didn't his bearded lady sing yeah i think so i think so too this girl is much more attractive than pt barnum's I bearded don't know. lady probably it says uh the reason for her excess facial hair is a mystery in it you know, I bet she makes a lot of men jealous. Oh, look at that. Because she's done out wearing that lipstick. Um, I know the audience can't see it, but she's wearing a blue black bad type choice. lipstick. Yes. But can you imagine the men that are jealous that can't grow a beard and then they come across her? Well, and it's not that impressive. It looks like pubic hair. She can still grow a beard better than some people, some people probably. Yeah. 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 She's learned to love her natural body, and so negativity, negativity from other people doesn't affect her. She said, I get a lot of stares and people on Tinder will go out of their way to message me and tell me I'm disgusting and gross. Oh, that's sad. That's, yeah, it's a bit rough. Yep. We do not encourage any of our listeners to look her up on the internet and view other photos of her because, um, you know, if she's a happy, that's all that matters. Right. But it still looks strange. So this one, Baby Name Wars, which is, I think, uh, Disney's... Is that a reality show? No, that's going to be, I think, Disney's remake of Star Wars for toddlers. Mm. Yeah, Baby Name Wars. Mum is furious after finding out her cousin, not a sister, not anything close like that, furious after finding out her cousin wants to call her child almost exactly the same name as her own daughter that reminds me of the woman and this has nothing to do with this but oh. um you know how my mind just, works is this just about a furious woman then no it, oh. this is about the woman that had the kid and the oh i, I know that is. Uh, i can't remember what airline it was but basically the gate agent kind of made fun of the kid because the kid's name was absidy and it was spelled a b c d e Huh. And then that woman, you know, cried and complained that they were making fun of her kid. And I'm thinking, well, kind of deserves it a little bit. Just, well, just a little bit. I've got something remotely linked to that as well. And Pat, you're going to have to come up with your own story, mate, because this one's 100% true. This woman, at, uh, I can't remember where it was actually, but she's got a daughter who's in school and she keeps getting annoyed because the teachers pronounce her name wrong. And they call her Leah. And her name is actually, when it's written down, it's L and then a hyphen and E-A-R. But the mom insists she's called Lee Dasher because she put a dash in there. I think I'd heard that yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. Yeah. Maniac. But anyway, so this um, this actually is an Australia story. So furious mum in Australia. A cousin wants to name her own daughter Mia. Well, this uh, original woman, Leanne, is furious again because uh, her own daughter's name is Maya. So can you imagine that, Pat, getting mad at your cousin because the name is similar? It seems just like a stretch, to be honest with it you. It was, uh, don't I, I, I think that unless they're next door neighbors, uh, how often do you see your cousin's right. child? But even if it was the same name, don't really matter, does it? I, I'm, I'm with yeah. you on the same name. I, yeah. that's, you know, have, there's a lot of names in the world, but Mia and Maya yeah. seem... Seem acceptable to me. We will mention at this point that Pat's wife's name is Karen, so she must be thrilled with the latest craze. She's not a big fan of the whole Karen thing. She actually didn't know anything about it until right. my nephew clued her in at uh, Thanksgiving. And since then, she's tried to change her name several times. But Well, it, weren't y'all supposed to have like a little contest or something to give Karen a new name? Well, my children have a lot of ideas for that, but none that we've sit in front of her yeah, before so. nothing that stuck what what were some of your favorites well k is the easy one yeah oh, that's yeah. a given I, I, um, I, unfortunately her middle name is aileen she's not a big fan of that either mm. so uh 
Yeah. Ray- Aileen? Aileen or Eileen? Aileen. Aileen. A I L E N E. A O E N E. Yeah. Karen. No, it's got to be called Karen. I'm calling my next dog Karen so I can just shout at her. Yeah. No, that'd like, be good. Karen! Right. Stop pumping the couch. There you go. Well, so, yeah, but it'd have to be a girl dog. No, well, it's a girl dog. Right. But so girl, dogs, would... girl dogs, when they get on heat, if you don't get them fixed, they still try and hump things. They hump towels and stuff like that. No, nah, I don't believe you. That's true. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. I've seen videos. Yeah. I'm sure you have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. The internet is a dark, dark place. Yep. That second yep. page of Google. Yeah. A second dark page web. of Google. Yeah. So this next one, Marco Rubio, I've heard of him. He plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? No, nah, he's in Godfather. Oh. Okay. Um, he opposes nose only masks. Apparently, there's this new video coming out um, saying that people, when they go to restaurants, they should wear two masks, one which goes over the nose only and then a full normal, you know, kind of like mask like everybody's been wearing. And so when you get seated and when you start eating, you take the outer one off and then you just leave the one covering your nose. And again, Pat, I just want to show you a photo of this because I know you don't have a very good imagination when it comes to things like this. I think I'm out on that. First, I don't see the benefit to... uh... yeah. My fellow diners. Well, you have to have smell to be able to get a sense of taste to some point, don't you? That's why people hold their noses when they sure. like, drink horrible things and medicines and stuff. So if, if you're into the two mask mm-hmm. thing, you probably aren't going out to eat anyway. But if you are, I think you just have to Yeah. You have to be mask free. Well, I mean, if you're gonna wear that, you're probably this type of person who's, you know, wearing a mask in your car and that. And I can't tell you how many people I still see like wearing when they're the only only passenger in the car it's a nice look isn't it yeah i can't tell you how many people i still see wearing masks in cars uh, driving to the studio here today i saw at least three people by themselves in the car wearing masks the one that gets me is the guy on the motorcycle that wears a mask and doesn't wear a helmet i'm, I'm not a big helmet fan I, I don't wear a helmet when i ride my bike but you're that afraid of covid so you're wearing a mask on a motorcycle but you're not afraid of wrecking your motorcycle so you don't wear a helmet just i don't get it he's okay with a quick death he just doesn't want a long drawn out death no that's true well you know what here's one so pat is a covid survivor well, so Absolutely. we. Well, yeah, we had COVID too, but we didn't know we had COVID right, when we straight, had it. Yeah. It wasn't famous yeah. yet. We didn't take the time off work like right. somebody we can mention yeah. in the same room as us. Yeah. But, but yeah. you know, Pat Pat is a COVID survivor. Yeah. Pat and Karen both are COVID yeah. survivors. Yeah. yeah. G- glad you beat that horrible disease. Yeah. It, was, it was a tough couple of days. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, Marco Rubio. It, well, his comment on this, which I think was a bit long and drawn out, he says, I'm sorry, but no. So I'm glad we got his opinion on that because um, it always helps when somebody famous kind of gives you a good, you know, yeah, detailed that, explanation. Of that the, quote could be for several different things. Oh, well, yeah. Like mostly a lot of the girls I tried to ask to prom at high school. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have proms in England? Yeah. Do they do the big uh, mums? No, and... that's Texas thing. Sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't think they do that anywhere else in the country, actually. Anyway, this last one, I think it's the last one. I've lost count. A, I don't think we were counting. Well, I was trying to count, so I thought I knew how many we had. Oh. But apparently I don't. But well, after you do this one, if there's no more, then that was it. Yeah. That's one way to look at it. Well, yeah. We need to keep that in mind. But for no, the next I can't, time also we... can't remember the number of how many I had as well. So not only have I lost count, I'm not even sure what I was counting to. So... More than so two, twofer, twofer. M- more than two. Let's we know go there's that. that. You know, there's that tribe. They only have like the system of like one, two, three, and more than three. That's their counting system. The people that live in Georgia? No, I think it's one state. Like no, one the country there. Georgia. Oh. You know, there's a country Georgia. Yeah, and one a of state the ex- ex-Soviet type ones. No, not there. No, this was in Africa somewhere. Oh, if I lived in Unless the country, I don't know. If I lived in the country of Georgia, I would start a petition to rename the capital of Georgia to Atlanta just to confuse Mess. everybody. I don't think it's spelled the same way. I'm pretty sure it is. How do you know. spell Georgia differently than Georgia? I don't, know. I don't know, mate. Oh, okay. But anyway, this actress, and I'm not going to mention her name because the shepherd has an irrational hatred for her. Oh. He's told us the story, but... I think he's kind of lying. He's left a lot out of it. Anyway, 
this famous actress, well, part famous, uh, say she's kind of sea level at best, to be honest with me. She started some kind of monologue about periods because she's trying to destigmatize menstruation among women. She says it's one of those topics nobody talks about, but every time I'm watching TV, it's like every third advert's for a panty liner or tampon or I don't know why they say, because all women do. Have you ever watched women comedians? All they do is talk about periods. Well, what channel are you watching that every commercial is that? I mean, are uh, you watching We TV or the Oprah channel nah, or something like that? No, I think like some that? of my girlfriends watching TLC. Oh, well, that's basically the yeah, same thing. Same thing, yeah. So the thing is called Period Piece, and it will consist of 36 monologues by 36 different playwrights. It doesn't give Wow, I cannot imagine making it past yeah. two. But there's one here, they'll tackle everything, which, you know, that's an exaggeration, from Eleanor Roosevelt, who also had periods, to the life of a young Nigerian girl who can't go to school when she's bleeding. So that should cover pretty much everything in there. I think I might download that. Maybe. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's depressing yeah. just to think that they're making a show about that. But yeah. you know what? Good for them. Yeah, so... That's it. That's the last article. Um, could sorry. have stopped one earlier. Well, so, yeah, I think yeah. we could have left that last well, one out. Sorry to bleed the topic dry, but yeah, that's... Oh, I see it was, wor it was worth it right there just yeah, for that. Yeah, I'm not bloody impressed with that. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah. so. uh, well, we hope you enjoyed this special edition of In Other News with the wolf and the shepherd and thanks to pat beeman from uh, on an island with pat beeman for yeah. joining us today and hopefully you know you can come back and yeah. check back in with us and good luck with your podcast no, i'd love to appreciate that and for those of you who wondered why pat wasn't saying much his podcast on an island with pat beeman is actually him pretending to be on an island so he doesn't really say much he doesn't have anybody to talk to yeah so this has been a bonus for him today that is true yeah Cause, normally cause it's all it is, insular yeah it is a solo dialogue. podcast you yeah. know it, yeah. considering he's on an island yeah. so we he's not yeah. used to the the yeah. interaction and all that stuff uh, that a podcast normally yeah. does with guests and yeah. all that stuff so Just normally does facial gestures and internal monologues yeah, and, yeah. so be be sure and check that out yeah and uh Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Wolf and the Shepherd, and we will catch you on the next one.